Today, we're going to take a look at some common, as well as some uncommon, Windows keyboard shortcuts. Stay tuned. One of the best ways to increase your productivity is by using keyboard shortcuts. A keyboard shortcut is a series of one or several key combinations that invoke a software program to perform a specific action. The shortcuts we're going to be looking at today are meant for the Windows operating system. However, many of these shortcuts will also work on Apple and Linux computers. I won't be looking at any application-specific shortcut aside from a few that are universal across different types of apps. Primarily, we're going to be looking at shortcuts for the Windows operating system itself. This video is going to be broken into two categories. The first category is just going to be common shortcuts. Many of these shortcuts you may already know about, but I'm sure there's a few that you might not. The second part of this video is going to be more advanced shortcuts. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I have a bonus shortcut that may actually change your life. Maybe. To start out with, the most common keyboard shortcuts in computing are Control-C and Control-V. These are copy and paste, respectively. Control-C is used by highlighting text and then pushing Control-C to copy that text to the clipboard. To make use of this text that you just copied to the clipboard, you put your cursor in the area you want the text to be, and you click Control-V. While these key combinations are probably the most commonly used keyboard shortcuts in Windows, there's another one of this group that many people don't know about. That's Control-X. Control-X acts the same way as Control-C, but rather than copying the text, it instead cuts the text to the clipboard. Just like Control-C, you just highlight the text you want to cut, and then push Control-X to cut the text to the clipboard. Then use Control-V to paste this text elsewhere. These key combinations can also be used in order to cut copy and paste files within Windows. If you would like to copy a file from one folder to another, you just highlight the file and then hit Control-C. And then in the folder you want these files copied to, you hit Control-V. As with before, Control-X will cut the file rather than copying it. Since we're talking about cutting and pasting, we also have to mention Windows key plus V. This will allow you to open the clipboard so you can see the last 25 entries to the clipboard. From what I understand, the next build of Windows 10 will completely revamp this clipboard with added functionality. And the rumor is removing the 25 entry limit. We'll have to wait for the next build of Windows 10 to see how it works. If you would like to select all the text in a document, just hit the key combination Control A. Alternatively, if you want to select a certain section of text, position your cursor at the beginning of the selection you want to make, and then hold the shift key while moving the arrows in the direction you want to select. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. Some of us make mistakes more often than others. I might actually fall into that category sometimes. But thankfully, there's a key combination for that. Let's say you highlight some text in your document that you've been working on and you accidentally hit the space bar. I have no idea how many times I've done that. This will replace everything you just highlighted with a space. No worries though, just hit Control Z and it will undo the action you just did. If you would like to redo that action for some reason, you can always hit Control Y. The next shortcut key I use constantly. Let's say you want to highlight a group of files in a folder. Just click with your mouse on the first file. Then hold the shift key while you click on the last file. This will highlight the first and last and everything in between. This is useful, but there's actually another shortcut that's even more useful. Let's say you want to select a group of files, but you don't want every file in the group to be selected. In this case, hold down the control key while clicking on the file that you want to be selected. While holding the control key, you can also deselect files. By using these two keyboard shortcuts in combination, it makes it really easy to select files. For instance, we can click on the first file in the group, hold the shift key, and click on the last file in the group to highlight the entire group. We can then hold the control key while deselecting specific files within that group that we don't want selected. Some other common keyboard shortcuts that are very handy would include control S to save a file, control F to open a search dialog in order to search for a specific word or string of text in a document, or control P in order to open the print dialog box. While using these shortcuts only save you a small amount of time, when you use them in combination over a period of time, you can save yourself a tremendous amount of time. 
While in your web browser, you can always hit F5 to refresh the page. F5 can also be used in Windows Explorer to refresh a folder. However, there's an even better one to remember while you're in your browser. By holding down the control key while hitting F5, it will re-download the entire web page without using what's already been cached. There's lots of instances where this could come in handy. For the final common Windows shortcut, we can't forget to mention Alt F4. By holding down the Alt key and pushing F4, it will close the app you're currently in. There's many instances where this shortcut can come in handy, but unfortunately it's used for practical jokes more often than not. I remember back in the days when chat programs were really popular, it was common when someone asked how to enable a certain feature, someone would inevitably give the response to push Alt F4. Unfortunately, that would cause the program that the person was using to close. That is not a nice thing to do. Don't do that to people. The next keyboard shortcuts we're going to look at today perform more advanced functions. While not all of these shortcuts will be used on a daily basis, it's still a good idea to remember these for when you need them. You might find yourself using them more often than you think. A useful utility in Windows is the Task Manager. There's a few ways to access the Task Manager. You can hit Control alt delete and select Task Manager from the list. You can also right-click on your taskbar and select the Task Manager from the right-click menu. However, the quickest way to get to the Task Manager would be to use the keys Control, Shift, and Escape. With that said, you can't do a video about Windows shortcuts without mentioning Control alt delete By clicking this keyboard combination, you can not only open the Task Manager, but you can also sign out or lock your computer, you can switch users, or strangely enough, change your password. Not sure why Microsoft added change your password, but it's there if you want to do it. I guess it's a handy function. When working with multiple applications at the same time, you can use Alt-Tab in order to switch between these applications. Alternatively, you can push the Windows key and hit Tab to get a more robust way to switch between tasks. The Windows key plus Tab also allows you to switch between active desktops, one of the many features that Microsoft blindly ripped off from Linux. Speaking of blindly ripping off Linux, who's ever snapped Windows to either side in Windows 10? Typically, you would do this by dragging the window itself over to the side that you want to snap it to. However, to do the same thing with a keyboard shortcut, just select the window you want to snap, and while holding down on the Windows key, click the arrow in the direction you want the window to snap. The next keyboard shortcuts come in handy from a privacy perspective. If you have something private open and someone walks up, just hit the Windows key and D, and all your windows will minimize. Repeat this shortcut key in order to bring them all back. If you're going to step away from your computer for a moment, hit the Windows key and L to lock your computer. Just keep in mind that this won't do much good if you don't have a password. Sometimes there's not an easily accessible shortcut in order to launch Windows Explorer in Windows 10. In Windows 7, you simply click on the Start button and click My Computer and that would bring up Windows Explorer. But unless there's a shortcut to Windows Explorer set up in a certain spot on the computer you're working on, you may have to click the Start button and actually search for Windows Explorer. Or you could just use a keyboard shortcut. By clicking on the Windows key and E, it will launch a Windows Explorer window. This next shortcut is one that I just found out about while doing research for this video. How many of you, like me, use the print screen in order to take a screenshot? You have to hit print screen, then you have to open an app like Paint and paste the screenshot, then you have to crop the screenshot and save it. Oh no, there is a much better way. Just click on the Windows key, Shift, and then S. Then, highlight with your mouse the area of the screen you would like to take a screenshot of. This will automatically take that section and add it to your clipboard. You can then click on the notification that comes up on the right, and it will open this screenshot, and you can just push the Save As button at the top right corner. If you'd like to open a Run dialog in Windows 10, just click the Windows key in R. If you'd like to open the Windows 10 settings, just hit the Windows key plus I. Personally, I hate the Windows 10 settings and much prefer to use the old control panel. If you hit the Windows key plus R to get the Run dialog box, then just type the word Control and hit Enter. It will give you the old-fashioned Windows control panel. I wish there was an easier shortcut key to open control panel, but this was the best I've been able to figure out. 
Alternatively, you can just click on the start menu and just start typing control and the control panel will show up. The next shortcut key has very little use outside of practical jokes. However, if you know the shortcut key and someone plays this joke on you, then it will definitely ruin their joke. If you want to change the screen orientation in Windows 10, just hit Control Alt and one of the arrow keys. If you want to correct the orientation, use the up key. There's been a few instances where this keyboard shortcut actually doesn't work. I believe it might have something to do with driver support. I'm sure there are several shortcuts I forgot about. If you can think of any of them, then please mention it in the comments below. Also, tell me which one of these shortcuts is your favorite. Now, for that bonus shortcut I promised you. If you click on the Windows key and the semicolon, you can get a character map that has emojis and symbols. From what I understand, this function will actually be added to the clipboard in the next build of Windows 10. But in the meantime, now you know how to get to it. If this video was helpful, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. Have a great day.